The IAA 2015 in Frankfurt. Continental is now presenting you the most important cars of the German manufacturers. This is the all-new BMW 7 Series and with this car the Bavarians actually trying to kick out Mercedes-Benz from the luxury throne. Well, how are they planning to do this? Well, they supported this car with a pretty nice engine, a V8. Well, over here we can see the 730D, but if you choose for the 750 IL X-Drive, then you're going to have a power of 450 horsepower and a torque of 650. Well, it all combines to 4.4 seconds to reach the 100 kilometers, all by a consumption of only 8.5 liters. With that package of dynamic and luxury, the Bavarians actually have a good chance to kick Mercedes out from the luxury throne. As we can see with all the people around this car, this is one of the highlights of the IAA 2015. It's a convertible, but not any convertible. The first luxury convertible 2x2-seater by Mercedes in 44 years. The S-Class convertible has a lot of features from the coupe version. Actually, 60% of the features are exactly the same. Sadly, the rooftop is not closed because then you could actually see how much it looks like the coupe version. As we can see, the whole interior is totally luxury and Mercedes even claims that it's the most comfortable convertible ever built. But the most interesting in this car for me is what it's inside here. For the first time ever, AMG tuned up an S convertible. Over here we get now a 5.5 liter V8 turbo which has 585 horsepower and a torque of unbelievable 900 newton meters. In only 3.9 seconds you're up to a 100 kilometers per hour and the cheapest way to get one of these nice S convertibles is if you don't get the S63 AMG but this one over there the S500 and the S500 convertible is probably around 140,000 euros. Over here we get the really nice shaped coupe version of the C-Class. Well, it's actually pretty much the same than the four-door version, but it's 15 millimeters more narrow and it's more expensive, around about 2,500 euros more expensive than the regular version that adds up to probably around 37,000. But there's one more thing, the seats in here are completely new built. Let's have a quick view on what Audi's got to offer on the IAA 2015. For decades the Porsche 911 Carrera is one of the best selling sports cars all over the world. That's why the world premiere of the new 911 Carrera is only slightly retouched but the biggest thing that happened is under the hood. Over here we got the Carrera S version that means it has 420 horsepower. It's 20 more than the former car. It has a torque of 500 newton meters and it speeds up in only 3.9 seconds up to 100 kilometers per hour. Top speed is over 300, exactly 308 kilometers per hour. The price for this car is 108,500 and exactly 5 euros. The next German car in the ranking is the Mini Clubman. Well, why put a Mini in the German ranking? Because, as you should know, it's owned by BMW. But the biggest thing about that small car is that this Mini is the biggest Mini. The Mini size now, it's huge, as I said. The length, it's 4 meters, 25 centimeters. That's a plus of 27 centimeters compared to the former model. And also in the wideness, the car is now 1 meter and 80 centimeters, a plus of 9 centimeters. And in the trunk, it seems like you can fit the old Clubman. 
the trunk now fits 360 liters and if you put all the back seats down like this you actually get 1250 liters the Clubman will be out end of October this year and the cheapest way to get one is to invest 23,900 euros. Finally, 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 after eight years, Volkswagen released a new version of its bestseller Tiguan. It took them almost eight years, unbelievable. Now we see a much bigger car, but it doesn't look so big because it's really sharp and nicely designed. The price of this Tiguan is going to be exactly the same as the former model, around about 25,000 euros. It's actually only slightly retouched. Volkswagen speaks about evolution, but what's really new about this car is that it's not a single standalone car anymore. It's going to have a lot of different versions, a smaller version, an extra large version, a coupe version, even a crossover version and they're talking about a GTE plug-in hybrid version with over 300 PS. Well, we don't talk about it anymore, we can actually see it over there in perfect blue. The perfect tire for the German cars would be this one over here, it's the Taraxa gum. And why would it be perfect for German cars? Because it's German engineering to its perfection. Together with the Fraunhofer Institute, Continental developed a way to gain rubber from dandelions. That way you're independent from the regular caoutchouc tree industry and that means less killing of the rainforest to actually get to the trees and less pollution for the environment.